Is there anything that you are absolutely terrified of? Your bones just tremble with fear and you end up with goosebumps all the way around your body wondering why you are so terrified of something that to other people seems so normal well that's what i'm speaking about today it's october so it's spooky season so today i am going to be speaking about fears more fears i have because i don't know any of your fears but i could add some fears that people may have and that is normal to have fears and everyone's got different reasons why they're scared of something so that's basically what i'm doing today so number one fear for me is spiders i hate them they are very creepy very very creepy especially when there's a huge one and i feel like especially because of my fear my definition of a huge spider is very different to someone that's not afraid of spiders so like you know the legs if they're big it's a huge spider you know i don't make the rules okay i don't make the rules if it's got big legs it's a big spider yeah and daddy long legs don't like them i really don't i don't know if anyone else like doesn't like them but they just scare me they're so their legs are so long and they're, they're, they fly oh who decided to make a I don't know if they're related to spiders. I don't know. I'm 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 not David Attenborough, but I did to give it wings. Who decided to give a daddy long leg wings when it flies to your face? Oh my god, it's so scary! No, thank you. I would not want that at all, especially this time of year. You could close every single window in your house and not open it for about twenty four hours, and somehow. That daddy long has daddy long legs has managed to get its way into your house. I don't know how it does it. Maybe it goes through walls, and if it does, that's it. I'm I'm gone. I'm living on the moon. The next thing I'm terrified of is clowns. Um, I've never seen it. Never seen it. I've seen parts of it on Gogglebox, but no, I that didn't really advertise it to me because I don't like clowns. I mean, if one day I would go to McDonald's and Ronald McDonald would show up, I would literally run out there crying and screaming. Literally. No. Just no. Just no. I first was afraid of clowns. I think it's also because my mum's scared of clowns. Sometimes fears can come down from your parents. That's also my fear of spiders. But the one reason why I was scared of spiders is the first scene in Spider-Man. When he gets bitten. That was traumatising to watch. Traumatising. But my dad is obsessed. With, well was obsessed with Spider-Man. So we watched it quite a bit. And with the clowns. This may sound really silly. But when I was little. There's this TV show called Scooby-Doo. I don't know if everyone's heard of it. It's quite a big one. And there was this golf course episode. Where Velma was scared of the clown bit. And the clown was just a normal clown, you know, it was a, a structure, and then it came to life. I would be, I wouldn't even want to investigate who it is. I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Another one of my fears, which is, these are two fears that I don't know whether everyone else has these fears, because they're pets. Number one is cats. I'm terrified of cats. I did have a cat with my ex-boyfriend. He kept it because I don't like cats. It was a nice little kitten. The tongue. Like, why has it got spikes on its tongue? And, I mean, it claws? No, I'm sorry. If you're a cat person, I don't mean to offend you. But I just prefer dogs. I really do like cats. I think it's also because my parents are both allergic to cats, so I never grew up with them. But I also, when I was younger, I was terrified of dogs. 
like terrified I could go not go near any dogs. So um cats I think especially I don't know if it's the same with dogs, but I don't know whether cats can tell if you're afraid of them. With dogs, if you're fear, scared of dogs, they know, they can smell it. But I don't know if that's the same with cats. I kinda if I see a cat on the other side of the road, I just cross. And that's it. Another one of my weird fears is horses. They're humongous. They are. I'm terrified. Terrified. If I hear it, if I hear a horse, I won't scream because um, that would be very dangerous for the person that is riding the horse. They are very scared of a lot of stuff. Kind of like me. I can relate to horses, but I still am afraid of them. And um, it's just, ah, uh, I don't know. I was going to ride in, on Dartmoor in... Devon. I was going to ride a horse across there. I could not. It was so tall. So instead I was stroking the Shetland pony, which was all right because I was I was taller than that one. So that's good. But I don't know. I think it's also because I've heard a lot about people falling off. My, one of my favorite um series when I was younger was an Australian series called Saddle Club, but I never actually wanted to ride horses i just liked that they were riding them <laughs> i didn't want to do it myself um my other fear is tight spaces so claustrophobia i don't like sp tight spaces quite a lot with my job at the moment i'm a cleaner in a caravan park and um in order to clean the inside of the shower doors you have to close the doors and wipe them like the screen, you know, the glass doors, see-through doors. And I'm just terrified. Like, I can't, can't breathe. And especially, or I'm breathing, like, really fast. Especially using, like, the... I don't use bleach because I can't use bleach because I get very dizzy and... Blah. I don't know why. My senses are very strong when it comes to bleach. So I use it and I try to do it as quickly as possible so that I can get out because I just, I feel like I'm in a tight space. I mean, I feel like especially if I was like staying in one of those caravans, I'd probably have to shower with like the shower door open or something because I just feel like I'd be too enclosed. Another one of my fears, um, I think this is a general fear. I think loads of people have this fear, but death I didn't want this to go a bit, you know, scary, but it is um, October. But I think it's a general fear that a lot of people have. I mean, with my depression, a lot of times I do think about it. But I feel like because I don't really follow any kinds of religions and I don't really think there's anything after death, it's kind of like you've only really got one life, one chance to kind of achieve your goals and stuff you know another one of my fears is heights but i think particularly it's heights but it's also falling from those heights so like i had i went to portsmouth and i was like on south sea and there's this like little area with loads of different rides i liked the roller coaster but there was this bit next to it. I don't know whether they still have it there. It was a few years ago. I think it was like six years ago. So I don't know if it's still there. But um, it was like this thing where they it's like a climbing frame. But it's right next to the water. That terrified me. I could only go up to the first level. And there was three levels. I couldn't do it. My cousin who was like a lot is a lot younger than me was all the way up the top I could not it terrifies me especially near the water which also leads me to my other fear open water well more f like the sea really I mean a lot of people because I live near the sea because I live in Devon but like it's really difficult like living near the sea and not going in it but I'm just terrified about like when you're in a swimming pool, it says next to you what the heights are. So you kind of know, okay, well, I'm not this height, so I won't go this far. 
But when it comes to the sea, there could be a bit where it just goes, like, just drops. And I'm also, I don't like the feeling of seaweed, like, going near my legs or my feet. It's really, I don't like it at all. And also, the sea is quite unpredictable and it's quite dangerous, so one of the reasons why I don't like it. But I do like swimming, I just like swimming in swimming pools rather than the sea. I don't like jellyfish and stuff. I've never been stung, touch wood, but yeah, I don't think I will get stung because I never go in the sea, so that's one thing. Talking about stinging, another thing that has just become a fear of mine, I never used to be scared of them because I'd never have an interaction with them, but wasps, don't like them. What's the point? What's the point of wasps? We have bees. Like, the amount of pollinators we have out there. What's the need for wasps, really? There's this um, wasp's nest that I didn't realise we had near the front door. And I was bringing up the garden bin, which is like a bin where you could put garden waste. And I was pulling it up, and there was this, like, big bag of garden waste that we haven't really moved. And I, like, yanked at it. Like, yanked the bin over it. And I didn't really notice anything, couldn't see anything. Went all the way back up to the top of the the stairs. We have got like, quite a few stairs to go to the car. And I put it back and then I came walking by down. And this was just after my work. So I just had my Topolo t-shirt on and my leggings on. And I got stung by wasps about three or four times. One of them was on my finger, which really hurt, and the rest was on my thighs, and I could see them crawling up my leggings, and there was quite a few of them, and it just terrified me. I was screaming so loudly, and I asked my next door neighbour if they had any you know, ideas what I could do, but they couldn't help me because they're allergic to stings, so they can't, like, bee stings and wasp stings, which... Luckily, I did take an antihistamine just in case I had an allergic reaction because I'd never, before then, I'd never been stung by a bee or a wasp. Luckily, like, the sting kind of lasted a while, but I think the only thing that actually really hurt was when they pierced into me because obviously when they sting, they kind of pierce in. Kind of felt like I was having another t- unwanted, uh, uh, an unwanted tattoo or an unwanted piercing, you know. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's not as bad as like stinging nettles. Stinging nettles hurt for a long time. Like I think that hurt for about a day or something. But yeah, those are majority of my fears. Uh, another one of my fears is going out in public and talking to people that I don't know. But I think that's more to do with social anxiety and the fact that I grew up in Basingstoke, which is not a very nice place. And I moved down to Devon, which is a lot better. But I still kind of worry that people are bad. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all of my fears. Um, I do have a few more, but if I do think of them, I'll probably make a part two. I have loads of fears. Um, if you do want to comment down below some of your fears, I could read them out in a podcast, um, next week. Sorry I haven't been uploading podcasts. Basically, I recorded this podcast already. And it didn't save, so I've had to re-record it. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, or listening actually. Thank you so much for listening. And I will see you next week with another podcast. I will be doing the podcast about urban legends. So if you don't like stuff like that, I'd suggest not listening to it. But yeah, bye, Shanlings, bye.